Do you know why Pearl is available? Because even though she says the right things that men resonate with, she's masculine as hell. Men like feminine women. Pearl is an advocate for what men want, but she's not what men want. Feminine women do not go online and sit on podcasts and argue with men all day long. <laughs> that is not what men want. Ideally, men would have someone that's very laid back, chill, feminine, you know, helps out where she can around the house and, you know, isn't like a pain in the ass. <laughs> and I know you guys are going to be like, well, just hire a maid. Are you guys really saying that a woman's love can be replaced by a maid? Partnership in the home is desirable, where both people help out around the house. I've been kind of messing around a little bit on here with some of my satire and stuff, but real talk, I believe both people should do both things around the home fully. Like, there's no reason not to. I can joke and say, yeah, I'll cook, you do the dishes. But even then, that's 50-50, you know? I mean, you could argue cooking's more effort. I'll forget, I was raised by a single mother. I was doing everything around the house. She taught me how to cook, how to clean, how to do dishes, how to do laundry. I'm just saying, I do all that stuff now for myself, no problem. But ideally, in a partnership, I would have help, help with those things. I'm not just going to take care of someone fully. I'm not going to pay for everything and take care of everything around the home. But back to Pearl. She definitely understands what men want but that she's just masculine as hell she huh? really and, and everything that she does she's very masculine huh? she will probably find someone that's great for her but you guys are like why not pick her because we couldn't marry someone that's like that and argumentative and fighting imagine being the biggest female voice of the red pill movement you say things like women shouldn't be allowed to divorce their husbands, that men should demand a DNA test at the delivery of their children. You say things like women shouldn't be allowed to vote. You say things like you shouldn't believe all assault victims. You, you do everything that you can to throw women under the bus for the sake of looking good in front of men. And those men go online and say stuff like this. My theory on why pick me women rarely get picked is because they don't present themselves to be much of a challenge. A man likes to feel like he's changing a woman's mind, like he's talked her into something. And if the woman's already coming in saying, I, I'm submissive to you, you're better than me and all that, it's not as much fun. They'd rather take a woman who is independent and try to make that woman submissive. They'd rather take a woman who is clearly materialistic and make that woman split bills with them. But they need somebody like her so they can be able to say, no, 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 it's not just us. Look at this woman right here. She agrees with us. I heard somebody say once that men want a woman they can subjugate, but Pearl subjugates herself. And that's the truest thing I've ever heard. I hope Pearl sees this and then does some reflect, you know? Does some sort of reflect. At one point, I was a pick me myself, you know? And then I came to realize that I would rather be disliked by men than to be liked by them. It's really much more interesting when it's like that, you know? It's not nice to be the one advocating for men, be the one doing all the dirty works, and then when it comes to them actually selecting you, they don't. They go for the opposite. Why? Because they, they crave that adrenaline. They crave that thing of needing a woman who would make them feel like a man i'm confused now in terms of what masculine and femininity is in terms of the male male psychology like how is that masculine help me understand how is pearl masculine we can say that she's a pick me but masculine masculine uh uh no 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 even i'm finding it difficult to believe that because there's no way i can believe that pearl is masculine but i can believe that she's a pygmy you can say that she's not conventionally attractive yeah i can believe that but if she was a blonde blue-eyed woman who is a conventionally attractive you would really mm, like that you would like that. But again, you need women like Pearl. You need women like Pearl to balance the numbers of really what you're thinking. You read. You need women like her. But do you want to be with her? That's the question. No, you don't want to be with her. She's too much. She's too much for you. You want a woman that you can change, that you feel like you've made, you've conquered. 
fortunately i've already conquered myself and that's a bit appeal for most men to swallow <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm hoping the South African pick me girls also saw that. Babes, the men who calling y'all masculine. <laughs> All these South African pick me girls that be coming online talking shit about women. They're calling y'all masculine. Do you hear? The very thing y'all keep saying women are, they say you are that thing. Yo, shame, dilly shame. But I, your life, do what you want. Yo, can you imagine being a woman who builds your entire platform on literally hating other women saying things like, like women don't deserve the right to vote and oh if a woman says she's getting abused or sa she's probably lying or women are stupid women deserve less women need men more than anything and you're doing all of this to make men like you like imagine being a woman and your whole platform is just that it's fuck the rest of the women pick me choose me love me men like trust me I'll be your slave daddy i'll do the cooking the cleaning whatever you want me to do i will never complain if you put your hands on me i won't complain i will never snitch all of that imagine being that person and then when a man <laughs> and then when a guy comes out and says you know i feel like it's time for me to get a girlfriend and he's describing like the kind of traits that you always say that women should have and then someone says uh have you ever tried hitting that lady up like she's she seems like she's single like she seems like she's available and that man says i don't want her she's ugly i don't want her she's not feminine enough <laughs> Imagine your entire personality, your entire platform just being pick me, pick me, please, 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 men, men, please, please, I want you to pick me, pick me, pick me. And then when one gets asked, like, hey, why don't you pick her? He's just like, ew. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm so sorry. That is so funny. That is so funny. You know, for a second, for a second, I felt bad. I was like, that's not nice. You know what I mean? He shouldn't have said that. But then, but then I went back and I watched some of her videos and the things that she said, and I was like, you know what? Well deserved. Well deserved. <laughs> Listen, if there's any lesson to learn from this, I don't care if you're a woman, a man, whatever. If you make your entire life about making a specific group of people think you're enough, one of these days, those people are going to be honest. They're going to be like, I'm going to be real with you. No matter what you do, you'll never be enough for me. And you just have to take that. Like, that's, the, that's, so, that's so good. That's so embarrassing. Would be probably because she's not considered conventionally attractive. And yes, most likely because she's masculine but i don't think it has anything to do with her going back and forth on the internet there are plenty of conservative women who've made a career out of going back and forth on the internet educating people and they're still highly sought after because they're more conventionally attractive than perlo and i know i'm about to get flooded with hate comments about how i'm not conventionally attractive and that's fine it's your prerogative but it only further proves my point if i was more conventionally attractive it didn't it wouldn't matter what i had to say right i would be able to tell you that the sky is purple and there'd be men in my comments agreeing with me because a lot of studies show us that when it comes to romantic success, men care more about looks. Obviously, it's not the only determining factor, but it is extremely important. Like from what I've seen, and correct me if I'm wrong, the more attractive a woman is, the more men are willing to tolerate. It's crazy to me how Pearl goes above and beyond to put women down and uplift men, and they still wouldn't marry her. <laughs> He's going to say because she's masculine, it doesn't matter, blah, blah, blah. Why is he a toddler? I keep seeing this fella on my uh, for you page. Why he has toddler eyes and toddler voice and toddler hair? Does anybody see? He looks like I kind of want to make him a snack plate so he'll calm down and stop being mean to his friend. Like I want to cut up little pieces of cheese and be like, "Here you go, baby. Do you need some apple juice? You need to give your friend a hug and tell her you're sorry, okay? Because you're obviously we're having big emotions. Like he's a. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't often see men like this, but he is, he's three. Is it, I don't, does he have a condition? I don't want to be, I don't want to be rude. In my experience, men don't really care what women think when looking for a romantic partner. And I don't really think that's why Pearl is single. The same reason why guys still date me, even though I talk about feminist shit on here all the time. As long as you're hot enough for them or you're their type, they're going to ignore anything that you say and think and do. Like, I, my life is a testament to that. If a man thinks you're attractive, he doesn't give a fuck what's in your brain. I'm a testament to that. You would think, oh, why would men want to date this girl? People in my comments used to be like, oh my god, good luck finding a boyfriend, blah, blah, blah. And that was when I had 
boyfriend. Men still ask me out. They really don't have very much consideration or concern for what's in my brain. I don't think that's why Pearl is single. I think Pearl is single the same reason why she feels like a pimple between our ear and our hairline. Like, the same way we feel about Pearl, that's just the energy she gives off. She gives off hatred to the entire human race. Not even the conservatives picked her. I feel like Pearl is single for the same reason she's doing this whole shtick, which is, I guess there was nothing else to center her life around that she actually stood on that she cared about. And she doesn't really have a personality outside of, oh, women should do this for men. And women should be virgins when they marry men. But she's not a virgin and she's not married. So she it, she's kind of like, in that way, a ghost. Like, her her... Do you know what I'm saying by that? No. I'm just saying that, like, everything that she stands for is in the negative for her. Mm. So, like, there's nothing there to really grasp as, like, her true self. Like, can you imagine her alone? Like, can you imagine Pearl, like, going home and, like, playing with her pet? Or, like, eating breakfast? No. Because she's a concept. She's a concept. She's a concept of outrage and, like, outwardly contradicting oneself. She's a... I don't... I honestly... I don't think she's real. Like, the more I think about it, I think she's a draconian lizard. I think she was sent here to start some trouble. Like, I, I think she's... It's NPC vibes. It's not... I don't think... There's really super anyone home. In that case, then, can we say that we are all a concept? If that's your logic of thinking. I mean, I can... If I am, like, telling you... on, If I put on a persona on the internet and people know me as that persona, can we say that we are all portraying some sort of an agenda? about how we want to be seen and what we want to portray on the internet that we put on a mask and then when we go out into the world we're not even the people that we are portraying to be on the internet we can't say that it's really her if that's your logic that high ideas are more like a concept and all of that we can say apply it to everyone if you are the same person online and offline that's great but most people like she's saying concept you know i can also get a man with my hyper beliefs as well i'm not a christian and that's gonna be hard not even hard like it really erases a lot of men that i really don't want in my life i don't want to bow down and worship a man that's just me but that's not just like i'm thinking like if that's the case then i'll be all concepts that's how i'm thinking like let me know the concept like let me know like what do you think mm -hmm.